What up, what up? It's Pat and Serge from the Normies. We're back to watch episode two, season three, Mr. Robot. It's called uh, Undo. Undo. Control Control Z, if any of you are, uh, you know, on the PC, or Command Z, if you're a Mac. So yeah, Pat, anything you, you wanted to undo in your life? Uh, shit. No, I got no regrets. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably two or three things. Uh, yeah, but I probably wouldn't undo it. Anyway, I think he's talking about the whole thing that, uh... Yeah, the how he wanted to undo the whole... The last episode I was talking about. Yeah. Um, no, was it him or was it the girls? I, I was going to say it's like Angela. Angela, trying yeah. Trying to undo their whole parent's death or whatever. Yeah, undo the whole parent's death and they make it seem like it never happened again because she brought up like an idea how she could yeah. get rid of the whole... Or make it seem like the whole thing never happened again, which yeah. we later found out was total bullshit because she was manipulating... Elliot. Yeah, I wish it was a big shocker. Yeah, that makes more sense now. I, I didn't think of it I, like she was just strictly saying that just to manipulate Elliot, but makes sense. He would totally buy into all that yeah. and be like, what? Okay. You know when you fuck something up and you wish you had the power to hit undo? Like when you say the dumbest thing in front of your biggest crush. Or when you talk shit about your boss in an email, what then hit reply all to everyone at work. Uh, or when you crash the yeah. entire world economy and kickstart the inevitable downfall of human civilization. Oh, he did get his gig. He did. He works at E-Corp now. He's at E-Corp. Going in on the live-action cartoon of 2D emotions that everyone else is in. This is the trailer itself. I see the fatal exception area of cool. my way, and I know what to do now. I'm gonna fix the world I broke and put it back together better than it was before. I can't believe he's undoing it all. Right. So I feel like that's why I think um, Mr. Robot was the guy behind everything. It was never Elliot. Evil Corp has delivered their paper records from 17 of their 71 buildings to their New York facility. I'm pretty sure she would cheat on her fiance for me. Slippery one wet, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Me. This, this is William. Really He's my technology yeah. manager. We can avoid a single point of failure. We would install hardware and uh, software. Elliot, I hear your passion, but I got tickets to the Goo Goo Dolls reunion concert tonight, so let's wrap this up, okay? Why wouldn't you have digitized versions anyway? Through his emails, I quickly learned that he was having the engineers install root kits on all of Evil Corp's phones so they can illegally sell private consumer data. Shit's already I tipped happening. off the FBI. Got him arrested and promptly set a meeting with the next exec up the chain. I wonder what his emotions are going to be at the end. But since they already know he's here, they're probably keeping close tabs on him. Making sure he doesn't do anything actually, yeah, yeah. detrimental. Elliot, you are ambitious. I'll give you that. But I got a soul cycle class. I'm late. <laughs> this up sometime next quarter. Hacking Peter was as easy as watching him. I felt bad taking him down until I saw that he had his engineering team use special software to help E-Corp's auto manufacturing partners cheat the emissions test to hide out. That's what the Volkswagen did. Really? Yep. These innocuous backup batteries in the New York facility can turn into idle bombs with the right malware. Devices will only run trusted code that's digitally signed by Evil Corp. Bottom line, even if they think all the paper records got here, they won't be able to blow up that building. Digitizing locally and not shipping paper records here is the best option for our recovery. He's tried every manager. Yeah, I know. It's like Marquetta trying to get recycling done at her work. <laughs> Perfect. Oh! Let's set a meeting with the VP of technology. I want to get this in front of him. The girl, that one that's very tall, the woman supervisor executive is the one that actually listened. Doesn't mean that in my spare time, I can't find ways to purge Evil Corp of all their shit bags. You know, your typical subprime mortgage scammers, Ponzi schemers, pension embezzlers, <laughs> and sexual harassers. <laughs> that way, when Evil Corp gets back on its feet, they'll no longer be evil. We're proud to call you a new <laughs> member of Evil e Corp. See, he's not going to say evil anymore, he's going to say E Corp. E Corp, yep. Because he genuinely thinks he's saved. Okay, if I'm being real. I haven't fixed everything. The loneliness came back. I don't get it. I know I'm doing the right thing. Why do I feel this empty void inside? <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh, here we go. I haven't seen her in a while. 
Initially, your husband Tyrell Wellick was uh, accused of the murder. <laughs> this is some shit. I didn't need Scott Knowles to be arrested to know that my husband is innocent. We are a society. That's we are here to about. tell you that. Though you survived our first blow, Sounds like Darlene. you will not survive our last. Then it has to be Dark Armin. Cisco probably gave them access. You're a CHS. Cool. Now I get it. I don't know what you want me okay. to tell you, dude. He's not talking to Tyrell. There's a call from Queensboro Correctional Facility. What is it? Ah. Uh. There's a man here. Who is it? That's Elliot. We saw that last season, right? Mm -hmm. This one we didn't know he was in jail still. Though. Yeah. You've been looking in the mirror the whole drive home. I need to make a stop. Right here? Right fucking here? Right. Ooh, something about to go down. Yeah. Oh, that guy that she was swindling along. She went on national television and she says she still loves him. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck do I care? Bro, she used you. She used you so bad. You made me lie to the police to get Tyrell off. Yep. Now I'm gonna tell them the truth. Uh -oh. Nope, you ain't. You about to get shot. There's no option where you and Joanna ever see each other again. He just needed a little clarity. He's right fucking there. You're right. Oh, he's, he's gonna die. Oh, you're dead, boy. Oh, Joanna, you been running. See that coming? Dang, he just killed the bodyguard just like that. I thought he was gonna do that for a while. Oh, he should stop. What? Did he? Yeah! Bro, that's what you do. You don't fuck with a dude like that. What? <laughs> Who got you? She's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. She's dead. How about the baby? Oh, Tyrell ain't gonna be happy. No! What? She was the coolest, hottest fucking... Right? What? This is why you don't, man. Nah, ratings are gonna go down. He was a little, yep. He was a little too cocky about the way he went up there. Yep. Like, Yo, you, you better stop it, me, me, me. But honestly, though, he was drunk, so I obviously couldn't really take him seriously of doing anything else, anyways. Yeah. But I guess I don't know. But I mean, still, just watch yourself. You know, look alive. Right. Shit, I'll be watching the dude, make sure he doesn't do something crazy yeah, like getting out of the car. What's wrong? I can't believe I that. Ten. Damn. Oh, damn. damn. Just the most random shit. Like seriously, that's what you get for trying to reuse people, though. I guess that's karma. That is karma. But, but the dude should have known better, man. He a bartender. You about to? Yeah. I mean, she's like, she's like a almost a politician. Yeah. You know, but she's a wife of the CEO. How, how like, does everyone else get away with it, and she can't? Like you know, what I mean, everyone else in the show. Yeah, that's true. But like, she gets shot in the fucking head. Oh, that's her head. They might be able to fix her. Oh, that's her head. Fuck. Yeah, they're doing like a cranial. Oh my Damn. god, why you gotta do it? Fucking Glenn all over again. We got lucky we were on the scene before anyone saw the body. Once you contact the next of kin. We're not contacting them. What? He's what? going to social services. How about Tyrell? Who is he again? I think he's her, he's her above. Above supervisor? Yes. I believe Darlene when she says it's not real. We have to assume if society's grown past her at this point. Yeah, but why wouldn't she just say that? Her whole immunity is based on giving us intel. Right now, all she wants to do is protect her brother. There's no incentive for her to lie to us. She didn't even know he was working with Terrell. Why would you trust her on this? Because I still think there's a Dark Army connection. I think you've got enough pictures back there, huh, bro? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> She's fucking taking like three in the same spot. That you're going the distance with the silent treatment. Wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Is that all? Why are you trying to shut me out? You're my trigger. What am I in a fucking therapy session? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think for a second our shitty childhood is only yours. Even though he did get pushed out the window though. I wish dad were here right now. Oh, don't say that. He might pop out. I know. Come on. Darlene, shut it. I'm leaving. Yo, why aren't you gonna tell him about the FBI leaf shit before you Yeah, leave? like, t I don't know, like, does she expect to really just leave also so with the FBI telling him? Of the 20 members of this international forum have signed the 5-9 Economic Accord, making e-coin the currency by which all others will be measured. This is what would happen, though, legit. That e-coin shit mm -hmm. was on point. The China has unofficially adopted Bitcoin. The fact that they have embraced Bitcoin shows their resistance and emphatic rejection of our collective attempt to rescue the global economy. In short, 
They are declaring a currency war. Truthfully, the only reason I even agreed to meet was that this room happens to be on my way out. Have your government sign the goddamn accord? Guys, shit just got global. Mm -hmm. Until I get my UN vote, don't waste my time. My associates found your pet employee after she smuggled out documents on the Washington Township. Now that I've gotten a chance to talk to her, uh, Angela, I can see why you like her. Damn, he really does like her. Look how shitty he is. Yeah. Don't mistake my generosity for generosity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're just you're always disingenuous, is it was what you're saying. When powerful people talk to each other in a room. They can never do they can never do physically any shit to each other. They just have to like threat like, oh yeah, well I hired this girl. What do you think so far? Bro, I was still shocked about and, uh what's her name? Oh, forgot her name already. Shit. Now nah, look who. Joanne. Joanne. Yeah. I can't believe they I, I I just don't see the point of killing her. Like I don't know what that Maybe mean. maybe she was kinda out of story. Like she didn't really have much like even last season, what'd she really do besides that is true. kinda swindle that guy along and help and, clear Tyrell's name? Yeah. And then I guess well that, she knows that Tyrell's still alive. I guess she did her job, you know, she kinda essentially cleared his name before she went out. So That's she true. did that. But still. Really? Right. Really? It seems like they're just trying to like redo certain decisions they made from last season. Dan, you're just gonna walk out on your brother nice and be even more fucked up in the head. What you are doing, Darlene? Why you are doing it? What are you doing? Why are you awake? It's really... You playing a bug, girl? That's, that's yeah, Mr. Robot. Is that Mr. Robot? I think. He seems very right, inquisitive. Yeah. I'm leaving. I have to catch my bus. Buses aren't running. It's a transportation strike. It's all over the news. Yeah, I thought we were in a good fucking place after last night. Jesus, that's You're not answering my fucking question. Why are you here? Yep. What do you mean you invited me? It's you. What did you do with the computer? Why did you sleep here last night? You're scaring me. Answer me! Are you serious? Answer me! You're hurting me! Answer me! Stop! What? Stop! Stay the fuck away from me, you fucking psycho. Man. She is a trigger. Yo. Walk smile face, what kind of emoji you got today? Let's see. Doesn't look, it looks a lot slower. Oh, no emoji! Uh, it's him. It's him. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe it's Mr. Robot. I... Just let him come to me. You should know that nothing's gonna come from this. We were doing just fine. God, he's a fucking good actor though, man. Right? It's nice to finally meet you. You need to leave us alone so I can get him back to our work. I thought you never told me how attractive you are. Damn, okay! <laughs> Can I ask for your name? No, what does he call me? Mr. Robot? Oh yeah, we don't even know his real name. You're not getting inside my head. You're just another phony coup who's playing friend. She compromised us, and Elliot didn't see it. What do you mean you've been compromised? The music is always a shit, though. I wonder if these codes are actually legit or this is bullshit. Some of them are, I know they've done their research. They're monitoring what he's doing? Yeah. She did fucking compromise him! Darling, that's your brother, dude! Okay. Damn. Huh. But why would she do that? She really went over there for legit reasons. He's the one that asked her to stay. Stage two. Yeah. Actually, I want it to happen on the day of the UN vote. Damn. So stage two is only meant to be implemented if price doesn't come through. Why would you still want to carry this out? Who the fuck is doing stage two though? Are they, I guess Dark Army, I guess he is. Or I don't know, Angela's helping. That means they're gonna blow up that facility, right? Yeah. With the workers and all the backup. Yep. You get anything from Elliot's computer? He hasn't logged in all day. Last night he sent an encrypted email with the link. We'll be sending it to Tyrell, right? Is that coming from downstairs? Yeah, that's Darlene's apartment, but who the fuck is that? Elliot? Is Darlene home? No, she's out. This email he sent from his computer. Did you go to this link? Yeah. Downloaded the file, opened it, but didn't find anything. Ah. Uh, Dang, Elliot is smart you. as fuck. He got you. You fucking idiot. It's for us. Look at the camera and flip him off, Elliot. It's for good or Mr. Robot. It's a robot for sure. Yeah. 
So where was he? He was at Darlene's? Yeah, at Darlene's. Well. Moving along. Moving along now. Bro, man, they go fast paced this uh, <laughs> season, bro. No lie. Yeah, it's it's going well. It's definitely picking. It's uh, it's setting the pieces for the season, and yeah. like, I don't know. I'm 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 excited because like the way Mr. Robot season is ramp up is like it's pretty good. Like as good as any other show I've seen that knows how to build towards yeah. its climax. So it's like, I don't know. I remember that finale we watched last season. We were just like, what the fuck? Because you know they're gonna do some crazy shit. I just I yeah I don't know if that whole like you said. Every time when he gets in a routine of something, it's not what you think it is. Yeah. So I wonder what the whole evil corp thing is. But if it, th- it has to be yeah, like taking the clothes, pop the pills, yeah, and all that. Yeah, and he did the same thing with, when he was in jail too. Like he had that routine. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if he's actually really working the E corp, but I kind of do think he is, just because he's actually when he was talking to the upper management. Because otherwise, there's no reason for him to like, kind of dialogue and then get the approval process. Yeah. So he probably is working evil corp. I just wonder what the fuck that crazy shit this time is going to be. Um, I don't know, no idea. Yeah, but uh, which is kind of weird. Also, one thing I thought with split personality people, they yeah. are able to uh, remember the other personality that takes in, and he's never able to remember. Not every time. Well, at least in like I've only ever seen it so outwardly displayed on TV and movies and like some of the times I've seen that they don't they don't remember what they, they don't. What, they, what the other person does it's like, that's kind of weird because it's like it's one fucking brain so I don't know how you just yeah. don't remember it's like how your brain blocks off <laughs> yeah the mind is a very powerful Hell thing yeah. you know it's just like imagine if you had like your two sides of your conscience like hated each other essentially you yeah. know what I mean like so much that it split off and created its own identity you gotta be really some. You gotta be a lot of parts messed up in the head though for that. Time. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, but like you said, I think everyone in the show is a little crazy. So they killed Joanne though. Like what, man? I I feel like they just uh, they were just correcting some stuff from last season. That they were like, and eh, this didn't work. This didn't work. Let's just like scrap this. Scrap, scrap, scrap this. Yeah. Because like Joanne, they kind of got rid of. Uh, I think that might set off Tyrell. Yeah, again, like Tyrell. I hope they don't do what they did with Tyrell last season, where he just was, wasn't there at all. Yeah, and then he comes to the very end. Because like, I would like to. See I think next. What... I think next episode we're gonna learn more about Tyrell and Mr. Robot, why they're working together, and then maybe yeah. see stage two in action because I guess it's coming up. It has to be done soon. Yeah, we had we didn't see Angela at all this whole entire mm. episode. So that and and then we didn't see Dom in the first episode. So yeah, they have, they, they a, lot a lot of characters, of characters now that and they also it. got that new PI or whatever he is, the right hand man. Oh yeah, they didn't show him either. Yeah, they uh they kind of try to uh, focus like these character driven episodes on like a few characters, so we're not bouncing around too much, which is kind of cool because like I feel like we spent a lot of time with these characters. Yeah, and so probably next episode we'll spend more time on Angela and uh, what's his name. Why do you think uh, what's his name Dark Army guy? The one who's also a girl. I can't yeah, remember. White, White Rose. Rose. He, uh, why do you think he just wants to slap Price's hand? Oh, bro, just bro. To blow up just, just for shit. I, I think, well, 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 Price is first out like a CEO or whatever, the head honcho for a big conglomerate, which is an American company. Mm-hmm. And he is obviously like a politician in China. I mean, no offense to all the Chinese and everything, but if you're like a CEO of an American company, you're probably up top mm-hmm. than the Chinese person or whatever. He seems like he's on top, though. Like, do you think, know? why? I think. White Rose, I, I think Price is on top because, again, he's in charge of a conglomerate and now he has his own currency, which is E-Coin. Yeah. And China obviously has Bitcoin, which is general anyway, so it's not their own currency or their own uh, Cairo currency or whatever you want yeah. to call that. Um, but I think, the reason, and I think the reason why White Rose is so hell-bent on getting revenge or whatever, is I think he's tired of taking Price's shit for so long mm-hmm. and now he finally has a plan or... Or some sort of action that may um, put Price in his place, because I think that's what I think that's why Price really, I mean, why Rose really wants to do it is for revenge. And if, if if you want revenge, then you probably felt like that for a long time. Yeah, that you were always second fiddle, never. The you fourth. think so? I think so. I um, I still feel like Price was second fiddle, and like because the way he says like he needs to get his hand slapped, it's like he's reaching like Price is reaching too much in the cookie true. jar or something like you know like enough. But because because he seems well, right, Rose seems more global than uh, Price. Even though Price is pretty up there too, I think that's what's happening. These two are yeah, kind of battling it out. Maybe maybe one will misunderstand. But I think the other. Is, is, White Rose is not 
any person. conglomerate or anything like that. He's just like a, a simple, and he's not even like the president or something like that. I think he's a rep for China. So yeah, I mean, I, and plus he's part. Of, I guess he's a head honcho for Dark Army. So I guess that gives you a lot of cloud. Yeah. Um, they're trying to annex the Congo or whatever. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it was for I, mining I, reasons. Yeah, like data mining, or like resource mining. Like, are they trying to like what are they? Oh, yeah, I, 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 they never really specify. So, but in Congo, needs that location for something. And for I think for mining. So I feel like, I mean, Congo. I don't really think he's part for for data. It's yeah, it's like it's like mining. an actual resource. Yeah. Like, so that's why I, I feel like he's more of a global. Yeah, I can uh, see that conglomerate. Yeah. Because, I mean, if China is refusing to switch to e-coin, it's like, it's in his power, essentially. Price is waiting for him to, you know, drop the other shoe. Yeah. Well, and what about Elliot? What's, uh, we kind of talked about him already. Yeah, I think Elliot's, like, I think this episode showed how really fucked up he is in the head. Oh, yeah, the emoji faces were clever. That's, yeah. that's the trailer we, me and Mickey saw. Oh, yeah. Keep, it was all the emojis, and then it was on him, and there was nothing. That was cool. Yeah. Darlene turned him in. I was shocked by that. I think maybe she just wants to be I done think, with it. I, yeah, I think she wants to be done with it. And I think in her mind, I think she's doing the right thing because she feels like she's going to protect Elliot from Tyrell or whatever is going on. Um, which, maybe she put something on that computer and was never going to tell the FBI until Mr. Robot like fucking choked her up against the wall. Uh, I don't know. It seemed like she had already made that decision beforehand. Yeah, because she was already somewhat sneaky. Mm-hmm. But that was really fucked up. How she was getting ch- would get choked up or whatever. Yeah. Um, and well, I, don't, I don't think she's gonna. I don't think she was. She probably forgive Elliot for that, even though she knows it's not Elliot. Yeah, she should know by now. Even the therapist scene was really cool too. Yeah, dude. Like her. She was definitely she, shook up. She was. When she met. She literally met Mister Robot for the first time. Even though, like, who knows if she's kind of met him here and there. You know what I mean? But Cause, she, cause at that point, she would definitely realize that's, that's yeah, definitely That was all 100% yeah. Mr. Robot. Well, guys, episode two, let us know what you thought. Bro, that's still episode two. I know. <laughs> it's, uh, what, is eight more? I think so. Like that. Yeah. We're going to fucking wrap up the rest of this season. Monty, shout out for editing these. Shout out, Monty. Uh, does he watch the show? Yeah, he does. Luckily, he was okay, like, yeah, show. I love Mr. Robot. So uh, we are going to continue. It. We'll be a little bit of a week behind. So, like, yeah, the finale, we'll probably have to watch like a week or two after. Yeah. But well, well, we'll if, if, if the finale is like doing like a break, maybe we might be able to do it. But yeah. I don't know when the finale is. If there's anything skimming break, maybe. Oh yeah, all right. They're gonna take weeks off probably, yeah. so we'll catch up. Well, all right, y'all. See you next on the next video. See you. Bye. Deuce. Bye. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey everyone, hope you're enjoying these Mr. Robot reaction videos. Please hit the like button and share if you are. You can check out some more videos right here and on our Patreon. I'd like to give a big shout out to our super patrons, Luis, Joe Mags, Abel, John, Toy Soldier, Amanda D, and Penguin Squad. We'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.